Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the world of home automation with me, your host, Paul Hibbert. Uh, today I wanted to cover off a topic uh, that I've been asked about quite a bit. So since I uploaded my Kodi Alexa tutorial, uh, I've been asked quite a few times now, very gingerly by people who say, what if I per se wanted to do this perchance with illegal streaming, just theoretically? Um, the answer is you can do that. Uh, I in no way condone piracy. I want to make that absolutely clear. Uh, this isn't a video on how to do piracy. Um, I'm not going to show you how to install Salts or Exodus. If you want to do that, you'll have to go somewhere else. Uh, but this is for people who are already doing that and would like to do so with their voice. Uh, so enjoy. So this isn't a standalone tutorial. This tutorial works in conjunction with my Kodi Alexa tutorial. Uh, basically, you want to follow this one first that you're watching right now. Uh, this tutorial will show you how to get all of your library entries populated, so all the TV shows, all the movies that you're interested in, uh, and basically get the streams put into your library in Kodi, uh, so that you can then follow my second tutorial, the Kodi Alexa tutorial, which will show you how you can get Alexa to control Kodi's library, and in turn, of course, then the streams. So the intention of Kodi originally was to have everything stored locally, and so you'd have in this list uh, TV shows and movies that were local to your machine, uh, and they would be things that you'd ripped from legal copies of things that you had bought in a shop. Uh, they would be DVDs and Blu-rays that you had ripped to your computer uh, and had therefore had the digital rights uh, to view in Kodi yourself. So what we're going to do is fool Kodi into thinking that these streams are actually local files on our PC, and then when uh, we open up the library entries, it will in fact open a stream instead of playing the MP4 file or whatever it was we'd ripped the Blu-ray from. Uh, so we're going to go to videos and then add-ons and then into salts. We're going to pick a TV show that we're interested in. So I'm going to search for one. So I'm going to look for um, Sherlock, for example. Awesome TV show. Well worth paying the license fee for. Uh, and I'm going to uh, right click on it and go add to library. Now, it would be lovely if that just put it in your library, which it doesn't, of course. Uh, we have to do one additional step. Um, so as with any Kodi installation, you need to tell Kodi where to look for videos. So we're going to go to uh, videos and then files. And we're going to have to come out of salts so we can go to files and then add videos. Uh, and now it's asking us to enter the path uh, for where this media is stored. So if you um, co come out of Kodi for a second and open up File Explorer, you'll need to go to uh, C drive, users, your username, App data. Uh, if you can't see app data, by the way, you'll need to go to view um, and then tick the box for hidden items, uh, roaming, and then Kodi. We're going to uh, user data, add on data, and then we need to find the salts plugin. You can see I have installed Exodus because I, I tried to see if we could do this with Exodus and I can't find a way to add uh, items to your actual Kodi library from Exodus. Uh, so if you're an Exodus fan, you might want to switch to Salts. Uh, so Salts and then TV shows, you can see it's got two um, shows there in my library. Dexter is one I added earlier when I was doing this as a test. And all we need to do is take this location and then copy it into Kodi in where it's got the paths. So I'm going to paste that in using control V on my keyboard and then done. Uh, enter a name, you can just leave it as TV shows being as that's what it is that we're adding. And all we need to do is tell Cody this folder contains TV shows and then press OK. And yes, I want to refresh the path. And you can see it's scanning those items now into my Cody library. So now I've got an, um, an item called TV shows and I can see uh, recently added TV episodes. And if I go into TV shows and then select Sherlock and then season one, 
uh, I can then open up one of these and it will give me the streams. We need to go one step further though if we want um, Alexa to be able to just launch the episode without it asking us uh, which stream we want to access it on. Um, so we've got to come back out of all this, uh, go back to videos, add-ons, stream all the sources, settings, add-on settings. Um, and I find it quite awkward to um, navigate this because you need to go all the way across. Um, so you, you can use your scroll wheel on your mouse as long as your mouse is in this top section, it will scroll across. And we want to go to... So I want to go to source management and put a dot in auto play sources and then press OK. And now if we go to TV shows and then Sherlock and then season one and then open up a an episode, it will scan for sources and then it will immediately start playing. Which I'm not going to allow it to do because that'd be breaking the law, of course, and I'm not a law-breaking person. Um, so we'll cancel that off. Okay, so now all that's in place, we can use salts to add as many things as we like. So um, just as a, another quick example, if I go back to videos, add-ons, and then back to salts again, and then search for another TV show, um, and we'll just go with Scrubs. And just right click on it and go add to library. Now it won't appear straight away. If you're not familiar with Kodi, you need to actually get it to keep scanning whenever you want to add something in. Um, so what I can do, easiest way is to just close Kodi down and reopen Kodi. And you can see it starts to scan scrubs into the library. And this means that once you followed my uh, tutorial for setting Alexa up to control Cody, then you'll now be able to say, Alexa, play season one, episode three of Scrubs, and she'll do so. So just to confirm, Scrubs is now in the library. You can, of course, do exactly the same thing for movies. Um, so if we go back to add-ons, back to salts, and then movies. And we'll just search for independent today. So I can right click on that and then go add to library. Uh, and you can see we haven't got movies in here yet and it's because we need to do the same thing as we did for the TV show. So if we go to videos and then files and then add videos, we now need the location of the movies. So if we go back to C and then users and then your name and then app data, uh, roaming, Kodi, user data, add on data, plugin.video.salts and then movies and it's this location you want to add now. So if we then go back into Kodi again and then just in this box here, control V to paste, done. Leave it as movies. And we just need to tell Cody this location contains movies. And yes, I want to refresh all the uh, database. So bearing in mind, I've already done the second part of this tutorial, which is in the other video that I mentioned. Uh, I'm going to test this theory works. Alexa, ask Cody to play movie Independence Day. See, she's now searching the sources. And she should pick the most appropriate one and start playing automatically because that's what we've set the plugin to do. That takes a little while, and this is one of the advantages of having files stored locally and doing things legally, of course. There you go, he's playing the movie. So I'm going to stop that immediately.
If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you've uh, really enjoyed it, you might want to see some more of me, you can hit that subscribe button. And if you've really enjoyed yourself and you're thinking, that guy needs some food, um, you can donate some money to me on PayPal uh, or even become a patron on Patreon. Uh, links in the description. See you next time.